Welcome to Thursday, January 26, 2023. Your day with the podcast brought to you by Cowboy State Daily. Check them out at CowboyStateDaily.com or on their Facebook page. Also brought to you by YDOT. Cold weather, lots of winter weather coming as we go into the next several days. Basically from today through next Wednesday, it's just going to be the, the middle of winter with wind, snow, very cold temperatures and very cold wind chills. We've got sub-zero days and nights coming in many areas as Arctic air is poised to move into the region under a cold northwest flow aloft. So really, the pattern isn't changing much at all. Today's weather will be very similar to yesterday. There'll be more snow across parts of the northern Rockies, snow shower activity on the plains, and also, we're going to have some windy areas. Winds have picked up overnight, and we're going to have areas of blowing snow and some travel problems. This will be especially true in Wyoming. The Interstate 80 corridor blowing and drifting snow. I-25, some blowing and drifting snow in secondary roads and highways as those strong winds develop ahead of this Arctic front. The Arctic air moves in over the weekend. Now, unlike the last Arctic wave we had in December, where there is this, this incredibly fast drop in temperatures, the Arctic air going to kind of ooze in, so to speak. It really pushes south during the course of the day Saturday. Then Sunday through Tuesday is when it will be the deepest. Then as we get to the second half of the week, we'll start to see the Arctic air push off to the east. But those areas I listed there are the areas that are going to have the most significant snowfall in that overrunning pattern we discussed yesterday. Also, you get a lot of soup. Soup meaning you get upslope low clouds, you get fog, you get freezing fog, you can get some really icy conditions along and east of the divide in this Arctic pattern. So that's going to reduce visibility and again, make travel difficult in many areas of the northern Rockies this weekend into early next week, especially in those areas I'm listing there. Temperatures though are going to have a bit of a bounce up by late next week and next weekend. I meant to type next, late next week. I think by Thursday and Friday, we're going to probably start to see temperatures responding as the Arctic air slides more towards the central and eastern parts of the United States. Beautiful shot there out of Driggs, Idaho. Thanks, Nancy, for sending that in. With all of the snow cover across the region and these high and mid-level clouds in this northwest flow, getting great sunsets, great sunrises, that just uh, in the beautiful landscapes we have here out west. Today's satellite imagery shows that high pressure ridge, the really dominant features is high pressure ridge in the Eastern Pacific. So storms are going up, over, around, and down, just like this. Here's the next weather disturbance in the Northwest flow coming out of Alberta and headed towards Montana, then eventually heading south later today, tonight, and Friday into parts of Northern Wyoming and the Dakotas. There it is right there. You can see the low over Southern Canada. The one right behind it, this is the culprit that will pull in this very cold Arctic air that's sitting up in this area right here. That's what's going to be coming in over the weekend. As we take a look at the national scene, the storm yesterday that went through the Midwest will bring heavy snows up to the northeast parts of the United States. But all the blue and pink areas that you see right here, these are advisories for winter weather conditions that are coming. The brown areas show where there's going to be high wind events. So you can see the high wind event here along the I-80 corridor and I-25 in Wyoming. We've got winter storm warnings in effect for the northern mountains of Colorado and southern Wyoming. We've got winter weather advisories for a good part, Montana, parts of Idaho, into western areas of South Dakota. And you'll see this area of purple and blue expand here over the next couple of days. Here will be the highest winds between now and tomorrow morning into the foothills of the front range of northern Colorado, then across the usual suspects of high winds along the I-25 and I-80 corridor areas here. There's a lot of snow on the ground along the higher sections of Interstate 80 here, and that's just going to cause blowing and drifting back and forth, black ice, all those nasty things. So travelers keep that in mind. Then this is Saturday morning. There's that next low dragging that cold air south and there's nothing to stop it. There's nothing to really take the Arctic air and say, no, you can't come. There's just too much physics going on here with that Arctic air getting its push south. Once you start to move a large Arctic air mass, it has a lot of density and it's just going to keep rolling. So it's going to be rolling in over the weekend. You're going to really notice temperatures really dropping Saturday. And this is by 5 p.m. Saturday. The push of the Arctic air is all the way down into southern Colorado, heading into the western Corn Belt. 
and the purple area is showing where the temperatures are going to be the coldest. And look at the cold west of the divide. Although it's not nearly as impressively cold, it's still cold and it's colder than average for late January. So that means it's going to be cold. By Monday morning, that low that comes down kind of backs up a little bit and heads into central California while the Arctic air then spills along and east of the divide. And this is that overrunning setup where the counterclockwise spin around the low here, the counterclockwise spin draws moisture up over that Arctic air mass. And that's where we get the soupy, upslope, snowy, icy conditions. This is the precipitation forecast through early Saturday morning. So early Saturday morning, there's gonna be snowfall and accumulations along and north of where the Arctic boundary is gonna be by early Saturday. So you can really see where that Arctic boundary is and the overrunning commences. This area right here, northeastern Wyoming, look at this area of Montana here, up near the Montana-Wyoming border, along Interstate 90 in Wyoming into western South Dakota, then across the northern counties of Nebraska, you're gonna be looking at that overrunning really kicking into gear. The mountains start picking up that flow of moisture from the Pacific, and that's where you're gonna see the heavier snow in the high country as well. This is what it looks like by Tuesday morning. So what'll happen is there'll be an expansion south of that colder air all the way to and past Interstate 70 in Colorado. This is where it gets really soupy, foggy, and icy in this type of pattern down there. And then here's your heavier overrunning snow band. What'll be tricky about the snowfall forecast is this big difference in air temperature between the Arctic air on the ground and the warmer Pacific air coming up over on top of it. So you can see the pink areas there where the snow is going to be heaviest. It gets really tricky with snow water ratio equivalents. We've talked about how temperature is really a really big factor in how much snow piles up in inches. It could be 10 degrees and you could have a tenth of an inch of water and that equals three inches of snow. It could be 32 degrees, you get a tenth of an inch of water, that's one inch of snow. Snow stacks up differently based on the temperature regime that it forms in. So if we were to use the 10 to one ratio, focusing in on Wyoming, Northern Colorado, Western Nebraska and South Dakota and Southern Montana here, if we were to assume the temperatures were gonna be right around freezing through this whole event, this is what the snowfall totals would look like, a 10 to one ratio. But if we factor in how cold it's going to be, you end up with snowfall totals that could be closer to this. Now it doesn't happen all at once, it happens over about a three or four day period. Now I do think this is probably overestimated. Some of those numbers there are probably much higher than they're going to be, but temperature makes a really big difference in these Arctic outbreaks and these overrunning events. So it's gonna pile up the snow in many areas of Wyoming, Western Nebraska, Southwestern South Dakota, parts of Montana, Eastern Idaho, into the mountains of Northwest and North Central areas of Colorado. So there'll be a fair amount of snow added to what's already on the ground. Now, some areas don't have a lot of snow on the ground in, in the Northeast up here, but that's changing in this pattern change as well. And this will continue to keep us in the ice box, even though temperatures are gonna moderate by the end of the week. These are the forecasted low temperatures by Monday morning. I think as early as Sunday morning, as early as Sunday morning, many of you in Montana, Wyoming, the Dakotas and Nebraska will see temperatures dropping a little bit below zero. And you can see that where the new fresh snow cover is gonna fall in that higher snow content area, very, very cold temperatures by Monday morning possible. And those are the wind chills by Monday morning as well. This is by late Thursday night into Friday of next week. The Arctic air, the flow flattens out a bit. See how it's more westerly here? So what that'll do is that will help moderate the Arctic conditions as the Arctic air gets pushed more towards the Great Lakes and the eastern part of the United States. So the Arctic air will break by the end of next week, but through Wednesday, be ready for it to be very, very chilly. Have yourself a good Thursday. We'll see you tomorrow.